Hello everyone, Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady here, and I'm going to do a foiled dragon today, and we are going to bling this baby out. <laughs> so I wanted to go over the things that I'm going to be using, and we'll probably add some things along the way, or subtract some things. Not sure yet. Anyways, uh, this light is a new light. It's a Sun Mini UV LED nail lamp, 6 watt it's got a larger area on it that I'm working with. Um, in the past, I haven't been particularly fond of sun, but at five below, they have this uh, nail dryer, and it just happens to be the sun inside. So I was very surprised when I opened it and saw that. Um, I don't know if they have a different manufacturing company and the lights are different on this one, but this particular brand of sun... Is good and it's only five dollars <laughs> so I highly recommend this light if you have a five below they do have it available online so if you have any other things to pick up at five below online it's a pretty good deal because shipping's five ninety five and that's for small or large order doesn't matter how much you have that is shipping cost doesn't matter well that's for us I don't know what uh, Canada or the UK is so anyways with that said this is the dragon I want to work on, and um, this dragon was provided by uh, drawingtutorials101.com. So I will provide um, this uh, traceable, but know that it is copyrighted and it is from uh, Drawing Tutorials 101. They own the rights to this, so this is not being reproduced for monetary value. It is just for fun. Okay, now today I'm going to be using Beetle's Top Coat Gel um, SXD Nail Art Foil Glue to attach the foils. The gel, or the uh, top coat gel, is going to, let me show you here, this rock is a mess, but it's my tester rock. Can you see this here? That's what we're going to be doing on part, these three things. I'm going to be working with these on the dragon uh, with our foils. But anyways, these are on top of the top coat. So where we're going to use that, these powders will be on top of the top coat gel. This is a hollow, holographic powder. You can't really see the hollow until you rub it in. It's magic. And this is a hollow flake. Same thing. You can't really see it until you rub it in, then it turns magic. And this is from Yuli Pigments. This is number 22. And it's a full shift. I don't know if you can see it in the case, but it turns from blue to purple. Yeah, you probably can't see it in the case. Anyways, um, we will see that. Oh, I just showed you the shift on the other rock. I'm sorry, I'll bring it back and show you one more time. So you've got, it's purple and then it's blue. And then we're looking right here, purple, blue. And see, this is the hollow. That's this powder here. Top, Yuli, and Flake down here. So those three right there. That's what's going on there. So, <laughs> get this nasty rock out of the way. That's my tester rock. <laughs> anyway, so I have already traced this out and lined it with black apple barrel jet black and a brush and I just used a modified brush that I cut out most of the bristles on so we also I'm gonna be coloring in some places that I need to be black but I wanted to wait and work with you guys a little bit this is Posca 1MR and I'm just, uh, let's see, where do I want to start here? I want the inner parts of the wing. Perfect. 
pardon me, my allergies again are on high. Our, uh, our cars look yellow because of the pollen that's <laughs> falling on them. A lot of trees around are just dripping in pollen. You know, I think I'm going to change my mind about the 1MR and go <laughs> with the Apple Barrel Jet for these bigger sections. It just will take a minute that way. And this is Flat Brush uh, by Dubrary U Pro. It's a Weber number six flat. It's a Donna Dewberry brush. And if you don't know who she is, she is the one stroke inventor. And if you don't know what that is, what? No, I'm just kidding. One stroke is a technique uh, for painting. Look it up. I can't do it. I have tried. I'm not saying I can't. I just, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't want me to do it. It's not good. I'm painting these areas black because I'm going to be foiling over them and I want our foil to show really well the pattern. So I'm going to paint this section, all this wing, this back section here, the scales in the front on the belly and down the tail on the dragon. I'll be painting all of that black. Okay, in order to do the front scales, I'm going to line a little bit with, what am I going to do those? I think I'm going to line a little bit with silver. That way we have some definition between the scales. So pretty much like that, go down the scale section. And we'll probably lose it when we paint the black in, but we'll be able to see where to put them back, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's mainly for glue separation anyways, so when we're doing the glue in a little bit, each scale will be separate. Okay, and then paint each section black. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be gluing over it. I just want... Pretty much you can paint over the silver because we'll be able to see it through the black. We 
just need that separation. Okay, so I'm going to pour some of the top coat into my dish. Now, we don't want to get this mixed up with our glue for later. So, I'm going to take a Sharpie and mark this top coat. Because there's virtually no way to tell the difference when you're working with them. All right. And you can, if you have a bigger disposable brush uh, for this section, because we're doing a bigger section, or you can use the brush in the bottle, but to get into those little bits, you know, you need, um, uh, we're not doing the wings. What am I talking about? I apologize. Forgive me. That's for later. <laughs> Okay, we're doing the scales. So, we're going to do a section at a time with these scales. Let's see. And I'm going to start here. When I say a section at a time, uh, we can do more than one section at a time, but um, you want to leave separation so don't do sections next to each other if that makes sense so i'll do a couple and show you what i mean Okay, and then we'll skip this one and come down here. And don't worry if they're not perfect looking because we're going to reline with black. <laughs> the silver you can see through, uh, you know, you might not be able to see it on camera. Let's see. So you can see the silver through the black paint. That's why we did that to give definition. Oh, I got to change brushes. Sorry. Okay. Some alcohol ink on there from earlier. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Now on this top coat, make sure you move it away, all the way away from your light. Far, far away because it will turn hard as a rock. Okay, 
your light, turn it on, and we're not going to quite do a whole cycle, maybe about 30 seconds. And then when that's done, we're going to buff in the, do I want this or the flakes? <laughs> I think I want this one. Okay, so then you dip, you don't need much, it is very potent. You just push it onto the areas. Let me get up close so you can see. And then you buff. And you can take a dry, fluffy brush, um, dust off any powder, but look how gorgeous. Okay, so that's one section of scales. Now, put the lid back on the powder. Very important. <laughs> Bring your glue back to the, um, back to your workspace. and then start doing the scales in between. Trying not to spill too much. You don't want to get on top of the scales you just made. So it's a delicate process, I know. But we want the definition. Okay, same thing. Move your top coat away from your work area. Turn your light on. Bring your powder, your hollow powder. Hollow. Okay, yeah, I had to say it. <laughs> And do your new sections. I have to carry it just a little bit more, it's too sticky. The idea is to have an in-between cure where it's just a tad bit tacky, but not all the way cured. Okay. Now, this is just this one section here. Find 
take either a liner brush and a paint or a very fine liner Posca and reline. your dragon parts So redefined scales, beautiful. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing, belly and then the back of the tail. And it's a good idea to keep your reference photo handy so you can see the sections and how you wanna reline them. So while you're not using it, move, relid your power, powder, <laughs> cap it <laughs> so you don't lose it because trust me, I have lost the powder. Okay, bring your top coat back and work your way through your next section. Now I'm going to work my way all the way around and I will check back with you. Okay, so I'm going to move over to the wing section, which is going to be glue. We're going to be kind of going back and forth a bit. So you're going to want to put your brush for your top coat somewhere where you can identify it. I'm gonna put a white mark on my handle so I know this is top coat and not <laughs> glue. They will not work the same way. So I'm gonna set this aside, get a new brush, turn my dish around, grab my glue, this is SXC Nail Art Foil Glue, and I'm going to put it next to the top coat, but on the other side. And I will be needing the brush, but I'm going to start out with the brush from the bottle, because I've got a big section to cover here. I'm going to grab the center of this section. And be careful when you're doing this not to over, don't over glue. Make sure your top's on well. And the liner, this is a disposable eyeliner brush. Fantastic. I know I didn't say that earlier forgot to tell you if you're new here um, you can get these on Amazon a hundred in a pack for like seven or eight bucks I can't remember the exact price but they are so handy so I am doing the black section in the wings and we're going to use the hollow flake holographic flake which is like that, but flaky looking. You know what? No, we're not. I'm sorry. We're using foil. What am I talking about? My bad. 
I'll show you the foil in just a minute. So with your glue, you want it to be as smooth as possible. Kind of like you're doing resin. It is a form of resin. So same principles apply. You can use a torch to pop bubbles and it self levels generally. So you want to give it a minute, especially if your glue is cold, which mine is a bit chilly. Otherwise you can get wrinkles and bubbles and all kinds of fun stuff. And again, move your tray out of the way of your light. Uh, I'm going to torch if I can find it. Here it is. I want to work out bubbles and see if it'll help level it out. See how it's not very level? Okay, bubbles are gone. It's warmed up so it's getting better at being more level. Right, I'm going to put that under the light for a cycle. Show you the foil I've picked for the wing. I'm going to go with animal print. No, I don't know which one I want. <laughs> Let's see. I'll talk through it for a moment. This one's like a tiger. Tiger stripe. Sort of tiger leopard. I don't know. And this one is like leopard leopard, but I want these for in the wings. So maybe the leopard leopard. Okay, we'll go with leopard leopard. Almost done. Okay. Leopard leopard. Put down a section. Make sure it's nice. And smooth and with a q-tip or your silicone tip nail tool which is this guy either or will work you want to make sure that your edges are perfect and that these are bigger sections of foil, so you want to make sure they're laid down nice and smooth. So when you pull them up, first of all, I'm going to cut a section here. When you pull this up, go slow so that if you, if some doesn't lay down, you can push it back down and try it again. Little spots. Voila. Nice wing, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so keep going around your wing. Wings. So we're going to do all the black, these, the other three spots here. And I'm going to do around my edges first and then open my bottle to do the big section in here. You can see what I'm doing here. 
I'm doing the areas where I need to use the small brush in there. I might just use the brush all the way around in there. I'm so close. I'm going to open the glue and add some here, make it nice and level. Hit it with the torch. Be careful of the foil that you have on there because it will melt it. That looks nice. Moving my tray and turning my light on. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two parts and I'll be back with you for, uh, to show you what we've done. Hi guys. I know that's an abrupt ending there, but this tutorial has turned out to be very, very long. So I had to split it into two sections. So the second half is going to be over an hour. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, fast forward through it, I totally get that. No worries. But do check it out because I think you're going to really, really love um, how the dragon turned out. Anyways, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And the second half will be directly after this. I'll upload them at the same time. I just couldn't post them together. It was way, way too much. Okay. See you soon. See you in a minute.